Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and review the new KKW perfume um, with Kris Jenner. I just got it in the mail and I Lysoled it at all. And um, yeah, so I just got it like this. Ooh, that's not a good start. Um, so yeah, this is what the box looks like. And I don't usually order anything from the website. Um, I haven't ordered a perfume before. I've only gotten one. Actually, no, no, I've only gotten one perfume. And it was the Bay perfume, it was the blue one, and it smelled beautiful. And I've always wanted to get the other ones, but they were a little bit pricey. And um, for this perfume, the shipping was free. And all so yeah, I don't usually order from them, but 20% uh, of the profit was going towards blessings in a backpack. And I really liked that. I started ordering things that were donating a lot of their profit or money towards organizations or families that are in need. So I definitely wanted to do that. Um, especially with the free shipping, it's usually 10 to $15. So with free shipping, um, I knew I wouldn't be paying that much. So it was approximately $40. I don't know if you can see it. And it was shipping, or I got the free shipping, but with taxes, my estimate was about $43. So this is what the package looks like. It smells like. Um, well, my first look at it, I love the box. Um, when I got the Bay perfume, it was in a similar box, just a different color. Okay, that's what it looks like. And it says on the back, opening with a playful wink, the freshness of Frisia, Frisia and the lustrous personality of Okay, so like the power of unconditional love, a timeless, full-bodied, white floral bouquet connects with nuances of creamy white gardenia and rich night blooming cabros, capturing the essence of a pure yet magnetic bond. Wow, so they really went into detail with this one. Okay, uh, the scent is woody, white floral. Um, okay, so it should be pretty florally, if anything. So let's go ahead and open it. Well, my first look at it, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure the glass, the bottle is glass, so that's, but it is very beautiful. I love the way it looks. It's really, okay, it's definitely much smaller than what I had imagined, but um, I guess that's what $40 will get you. I don't usually spend money on perfumes, to be honest. Um, I have a collection of perfumes, but I've had them for a while, and they've always been gifted to me, so I don't usually go out of my way to buy a perfume. But I, wow, even the, the top is really heavy. So I think that's actually most of where the weight comes from. Yeah, it's from the top. Okay, so I don't even smell anything from here, because usually I can smell from. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that smells absolutely divine. Oh my gosh, that is up my alley. I love that smell. It's definitely, it has a white floral smell to it. And it's most definitely a mature smell. So I know people are gifting this to their mothers for Mother's Day, and I think that would be a perfect gift for Mother's Day. It's so gentle, but mature and florally, but the undertones are a bit masculine. It almost, like they said, has that woody smell, which I really, really love. Um, a lot of Middle Easterns love that smell. It smells so beautiful. So let me read the description again. It mentions um, Frisia, um, Lavish Jasmine. I definitely smell that. Um, and that smell that captured from the first spray of it is definitely Gardenia. And it smells, if you guys have ever had her crystal perfumes, they smell just like those. Um, I love those smells. I never bought it, but I did go to the pop-up shop and they smelled amazing. So I really love those smells. So creamy, the finish is creamy cashmere woods, glistening golden amber, alluring. Yeah, so it's basically exactly what it explains. Um, I saw a few reviews that someone was saying, you know, it's extremely feminine. And I do get that from the floral, but the gar the specifically that woodsy smell, that gardenia smell is very, very, very mature and it smells amazing. And I honestly highly recommend if you are able to get this, it's very beautiful. Honestly, I love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. 
and it smells amazing. I highly recommend this, guys. So if you are into that kind of smell, this would be the pick for you. And even if you do get it and it's not really up your alley, you can give it to, as a gift, and it's a beautiful gift. I think, especially this color, the nude with the gray, it's very neutral and anybody would love it. Honestly, I can't stop smelling it. Like, I would buy this twice. But um, it is quite small. Let me see how many fluid ounces it is. Okay, so one fluid ounce. So it is very small. But I mean, if you love it that much, you can definitely travel with it. It's under 3.4 fluid ounces. So you can travel with this, even as a gift in your carry-on, if you wanna bring it overseas. Obviously, we cannot travel right now, but in the future, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. I highly recommend that um, everyone get one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little review. It's definitely very small, but um, I know that this is a new product and people, you know, with new products like this, it is an investment. Um, I believe so, for, at least for me in my position. Um, it is an investment to buy perfume, especially at this time. I know everyone's trying to save money, but if you are able to get one and you're thinking of getting one but, wasn't, but weren't sure, um, I think this is an amazing gift. It's beautiful, it smells amazing. I know it's still in stock, so you can still buy it. Um, I don't believe they're doing free shipping anymore, but um, I think it'll be like five to ten dollars. So yeah, I really, really, really like this, and I think it's definitely worth the investment. Hope everyone has a beautiful day, and I hope everyone stays safe inside. Um, if you did get this and you love it, please leave a comment below. Bye.